Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we're going to look at now open circuit. So how I can build capacitors and inductors using uh, open circuit transmission lines. And we're going to do exactly the same thing that we have done for short circuit. So we're going to start off with our definition, which is V of Z. VO plus E to the negative J beta Z plus reflection coefficient E to the J B Z. I of Z is going to be VO plus divided by Z naught E to the negative J beta Z minus reflection coefficient E to the J beta Z. Okay, so this is the equation that we're starting off with. And I know something about short circuit, open circuit, sorry. Open circuit looks something like this. Okay. Uh, and then we have voltage. So what is the impedance of an open circuit is infinity. What is the voltage of an open circuit? So voltage of an open circuit, if I were to look at this graph, this is actually V max. Whatever the input voltage is, you will see the same thing at the end of that transmission line where there's an open circuit. You can also look at my pre, uh, a video on the demonstration of these three scenarios. Uh, uh, so we, I know that. So this is uh, impedance. This is voltages. And what about current? Current in I open circuit is actually zero, as you can see by the graph. So voltage is maxima. Current is at zero. And what is the reflection coefficient? Reflection coefficient is 1. So in place of this reflection coefficient, I'm going to do the same thing. So V of Z is going to be VO plus E to the negative J beta Z. So this is positive one. So this will remain unchanged. So this will remain as is E to the J beta Z. Then I of Z this will remain unchanged in place of reflection coefficient. I'm just going to simply plug in 1. So this will remain unchanged, which is going to be e to the negative j beta z minus e to the j beta z. Now, z open circuit evaluated, z evaluated at negative l. That's the location of that line. So is so the def basically what that means is this i have a generator and generator has left open that's it i have connected i have left generator is turned on and i leave it open so what is that location if you remember it from transmission line at the load it's zero and at the back of the generator is actually negative l so i'm going to evaluate both of these guys so v of z evaluated at negative l i'm going to do exactly the same thing VO plus, so the sign will change to JBZ, JBL, sorry, in place of Z, I'm just plugging in negative L, plus E to the negative JBL, divided by, because that's the definition, I evaluated at Z at negative L, this would become VO plus Z naught, E to the JBL, minus E to the JBL. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, let's look at the definition of cos. Cos of x is given as e to the jx plus e to the minus jx divided by 2. Sine of x, you will get e to the jx minus e to the negative jx divided by 2j. So this looks like, the top guy looks like a cos based on the definition and this guy looks like a sine. So these will cancel out. This would become cotan. This is cos, this is sine. Sine over cos is actually tan. Tan or cos over sine is actually cotan. So this whole thing, after canceling it out, moving it up, so this would become j z naught cotan pl and there's a minus sign all right so this is going to be an impedance of an open circuit line so now let's look at the graph again we have voltage which is at maxima we have current which is minima then when i plot this i have a graph that looks something like this for a cotan now how am i going to choose the length 
So if I were to go, if I were to walk along my transmission line from zero, from between zero to lambda by four, what is the curve that I encounter? I actually encounter a curve which is at, at, at the negative side. So as I know, capacitive inductances are in negative because they are inversely proportional as compared to inductive, which are uh, directly proportional. So this region from this length to this length, when I choose this length, this length will act as a capacitor from zero to lambda by four. So as I walk along, for as soon as I increase from lambda by four, between lambda by four to lambda by two, this will start acting as an inductor. So by simply solving for L, I can find out how much length I need to have for my microstrip transmission line to either act as an inductor or either act as a capacitor based on the definition which we have just derived. So I hope you like this small tutorial on, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, in microwave engineering, we call them stubs. You can have an open circuit stubs and a short circuit stubs. And open circuit stubs are actually tunable stubs because once you have a short circuit, you cannot actually undo anything.